Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and we do a few reality shows on the side. Now, I know that it's been a long time since I've posted. I know you're probably thinking like, what the fuck? What's going on, right? Well, the thing is, is last week I got really sick. <laughs> Like, I'm still kind of getting over it a little bit. I just had a, and it, I went to the doctor. It was just a bad cold, but it was a bad cold. It was like, like, it knocked me on my butt so bad. Wednesday, I couldn't even go to work. I couldn't go to work at all. I could not, like, like, if I was laying down and I opened my eyes, like, opening my eyes just took too much energy. I was exhausted. I mean, like, I was like, oh my God, this is really bad. So I stayed home from work that day, and I, which is a rarity for me. I never, ever miss work unless I am like, you know, the last time I missed work, I've missed work two times since I left the hospital. Um, and before that, you know, I, I missed work because I was in the hospital. You know, I had to end up taking a, um, uh, uh, a medical leave. What is it? Uh, disability. Short-term disability. Even though I'm not disabled, I just couldn't go to work, you know, so I had to get short-term disability, so anyways, whatever. That's what I paid for it for, so I got that money, so it was fine. It all worked out. I'm here today. So, but yeah, so I was really bad, <coughs> and I'm still just a little bit getting over it, but I'm so much better than I was before. Oh my God, it was, it was really bad. It was really, really bad. Anyways, um, and then... My friend Cameron comes to town this past weekend, and he bought me tickets to see Britney Spears last night, which I was so, I, you know I love me some Britney Spears, right? I, you know, I love me some Britney Spears. So, um, yeah, so I was really excited, and it was a great show, um, and her dancers were, uh, they were so good. Like, I mean, I, I love her. And I watched her a lot, but like most of the time, I'm not going to lie, my eyes kept going, with, were watching her dancers <laughs> because they were so good. I mean, she's good too, and, but I've seen her throughout the years since her first tour, right? Infamously. But, you know, so I'm used to her performing, but you know, the dancers did it all fresh faces and, you know, it was really cool, really cool to see. And, you know, there were some changes to the show because I saw the show the very first time it opened, maybe like three months after it opened, my friend Ron took me to go see the show and, um, it was, it, it was, it was great. The, the, I mean, that first, I mean, that was like three months after it opened. It was, it was incredible. And that was like a couple years ago. So now I went again and there have been some changes, some for the better, some not for so much for the better. Um, I definitely think that in terms of her show, like, there was a few numbers she didn't do the, the second time. Like, she didn't sing Lucky, which she sang the first time, which was, and it was a slow version of Lucky, and it was so good, and everyone went crazy for it, so I'm really kind of surprised that she cut that. And then, instead of, she, she did... She did this song called Leather and Lace in the first time, but then the second time, this time she didn't do it. She did Boys instead. I mean, I know Boys is a bigger hit, but I just, I liked the whole Leather and Lace because it was right in the middle of that whole get naked freak show um, medley. Uh, and it, it, it fit in really well, but everything else is just, I don't know. I thought it was kind of... I, I just thought Boys was just kind of a random song to put in there. She didn't do three. She did three in the original version. She doesn't do three. Instead, she does, um, she sang, oh, God. She does do Touch of My Hand, which I love. Breathe on Me, again, I love that. Um, she does, uh, what else does she do? Oh, she does um, Slumber Party with Tanache. And, well, even though Tanache is not technically in the show, they just show her footage. And then um, that song with G-E-Z, Make Me. So, I mean, those are okay. You know, the last show she did um, Perfume, which she doesn't do anymore, and Alien. Um, and those are from her last album. And neither, I mean, Perfume was a relatively big hit, though. I mean, you know, so I was a little disappointed in that. But I, I, And the costume changes. She did change her opening costume. I liked her old opening costume better. 
The new one is not that great. It looks a little bit, I'm not going to lie, it looks a little Victoria's Secret grab bag-ish. A little bit. You know what I mean? It wasn't that... Whereas before, it was very Vegas. Like, I am, I'm headlining my own show in Vegas, bitches. Like, it's Britney, bitch. Actually, the first song is Work, bitch, which is, is pretty fierce. So, anyways, it was a great show, though. It was wonderful. I loved it. I just wanted to share that all with you. It was so wonderful. If you get the chance, I know she's she's leaving. The show is the show is closing on on um, New Year's Eve this year. Here's what I think. I think she's going to end up popping up across town, not across town, but across the street at the Park Theater, which is new and incredible and huge. And you know, Ricky Martin plays there. Just because I think it'll be a little bit easier to, for, I mean, we'll see what happens. She's worked with Caesars, and, I mean, Caesars is kind of, I don't know. I, I just, they're, they're I, yeah, I'm not going to go into that, because I don't want to jeopardize my job, but, yeah, I, I, the Park Theater is actually owned by MGM Resorts, so we'll see how that works. We'll see if that works out, but. I mean, if, if that happens, it might not happen. She might not. She might be done with it. But I think this is a kind of a sweet gig for her. I just think she's just done at Planet Hollywood for now. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, I've got tickets to see her again in December with my little sister. We're very excited. Okay. General Hospital. Let's talk about General Hospital. Sorry, because that's kind of what today's all about. General Hospital. So obviously, because it's been a while, it's going to be from like two weeks ago. But so let's talk about General Hospital. The big thing was patient six, right, a.k.a. Steve Burton, who's, that's his real name, Steve Burton, who is coming back to the show, the old Jason, and it hasn't really been explained, the whole thing, like, that he is actually Jason, and now this other guy thinks he's Jason, but he's not Jason. I mean, like I said, we've seen this before on One Life to Live with Roger Howarth and um, Trevor St. John, who played Victor, who thought he was Todd. I mean, like, the whole thing is a little bit, it seems a little bit cliche to me. I'm just saying. I would have, personally, I would have rather seen him come back as Nicholas Cassadine with Jason's old face. That would have been a little bit better, but... It's not my job to write the show. Anyways, but yeah, so this past week we saw him come trying to make his way back to Port Charles, right? And there were a lot of scenes between him and Huxley, which I'm kind of glad that they brought Huxley back. I thought he's kind of cute. And, you know, his, his very, his put-upon British self was really cute, you know, in his scenes with, with Jason or Patient Six. I, I think they, they, I think I was reading online one one place was referring to him one as six Jason and the other was Drew Jason which is Billy Miller who knows who knows if that's the case though I mean um, Christina we saw a little bit of Christina this past week which was good we saw that she actually quit her job, not her job, she quit her school. She was going to school at PCU and she unenrolled so that she could date Parker. But it didn't matter because Parker ended up getting fired anyways because they ended up kissing before she quit school and that was all it took and now she's fired, which is unfortunate. Um, but I wouldn't be mind, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind if it turned into... Parker versus Alexis type situation, you know, that, that would kind of be interesting, you know, she's a little, she, I don't know if she's closer to Alexis's age than she is Christina's, but she's definitely older than Christina, um, yeah, but I mean, I, I think that would be cool, well, I mean, we'll see, we'll see how that works out, and then Alexis had a date with Dr. Bench, um, it was an okay date, it wasn't that great, it wasn't that wonderful, but it wasn't awful either, and, um, Dr. Bench actually ended up giving some really good advice to Kiki because Kiki was so upset because it was the one-year anniversary when Morgan died and Ava showed up to try to get Avery and she ruined the whole day and Kiki was so pissed off because everything that Ava touches, she fucking fucks it up. She was pissed. So, yeah. 
bless, bless. Um, so she was a little upset, and Dr. Bench gave her some really good advice. And it looks like Griffin has full-on left the priesthood because he slept with Ava. And, and I mean, listen, I have nothing against anyone that, you know, if they want to be in the, the priesthood that they that's their calling, okay, that's great, whatever, right? Does it make for great daytime television? Mm, not really. I'm sorry, <laughs> you know, so even, all, so all the priests that are on the show, they eventually end up, you know, leaving the priesthood because they've got to be human beings, right, so I'm glad that Griffin has kind of left the priesthood, because he is still a doctor, I mean, he, he was a doctor and a priest, so I mean, let's, that, that's, that's an embarrassment of riches, we can cut one of those professions, right, so he's just a doctor now, that's fine. Dr. Griffin Monroe. That that works out just fine. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you so much for logging on today and for bearing with my absence. I appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Angel Benton. You can hashtag GH to talk General Hospital, or you can also hashtag RHOC or Real Housewives shit to talk about the Real Housewives of Orange County. I'll be doing that next. And you can also... Um, hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel to get my YouTube videos sent to your email inbox every single day. Thank you so much for logging on today, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.